doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber god bless you so much for returning back here to watch my videos but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends i know you already know that we are going to be having a story time yes today's video is going to be a story time of a kenyan lady you know already guys by the name of Sharon who found love on online dating apps with a German guy his name is Tom so before I go further guys I know from my analytics that most of you who watches my video you watch these big 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 interracial couples channels <laughs> so please go to Sharon and family's channel support her support our sister she's such a lovely lady very kind the original <laughs> so so real you're going to enjoy her content very very much but i also know that some of you might have watched sharon's video of how we met so right now you're like bella why repeating things <laughs> no guys today we are going to be learning a lot a lot of things that you didn't know about online dating and what is more exciting about today's story <laughs> it's because it's gonna be exclusive there are some things that sharon never shared when she shared a video of how we met but decided to share those things in our today's story so it's gonna be very very juicy full of afro cinema you're gonna enjoy so so much guys without forgetting guys the names of the dating apps that she tried before finding the one and through those dating apps you can give it a try and who knows maybe you might find the one there <laughs> some of the dating apps were very very new to me yes so i know to you too might be the first time hearing the names of those dating apps plus she also shared the name of the dating app where she found the one if you did not watch that video of how we met on her channel and lastly guys what we are going to be gaining by watching sharon's love story of today <laughs> she shared with you tips and tricks on how to find the one whether you are in africa looking for love on online dating apps or you are in the diaspora you are an african <laughs> you are from jamaica caribbean <laughs> the philippines you want to find love she gave you those tips and tricks but generally guys you will learn a lot through her journey before finding the one then joined online dating apps the challenges that she faced till she found the one so guys let's get ready grab that glass of wine a glass of water some popcorns <laughs> pringles i don't know something to keep you company and let's enjoy this love story so dear friends let's gossip a little bit <laughs> was sharon in a relationship before finding love on online dating apps we should know sharon's past love relationship experience the answer is yes sharon was in a relationship with a kenyan guy they met at the university everything was super good they were so deeply in love with each other lovey dovey couples goals <laughs> you know and the relationship could grow every single day till they ended the university so guys you know after you finish the university that's when you start living the real life the reality hits you <laughs> sharon started looking for jobs in kenya everywhere but most of the jobs that she could get 
we are paying very very low to an extent Sherrod sat down and was like oh my god the money that was spent for me to study at the university was a lot compared to these salaries that I am offered what am I going to do I have lots of responsibilities on my back. Sharon tells us is coming from a very humble background. So she had lots of responsibilities on her back, had to take care of her family and had siblings who were looking up to her. So she was like, someone helped me to finish the university. I have to make sure that I find a job that will allow me to take care of my responsibilities. But the salaries that she was offered in Kenya, they were very, very small. She couldn't take care of those responsibilities. And that is when Sharon started thinking of looking for greener pasture outside Kenya. She had a cousin in Germany, talked with her, and then this cousin advised her to try au pair jobs. So after talking to the cousin, she was like, yes, I can grab this opportunity. So the cousin told her, for you to apply for an au pair job in Germany, you first need to study B1. That's German language, I think the first level. Without that, you won't be able to get an au pair job in Germany. Because Sharon was very, very ready to grab that opportunity, decided to go and start studying for B1. So as she was studying that B1, do you remember that boyfriend? I think yes. So she told the boyfriend everything that she wants to go to Germany, work as an au pair. The boyfriend was in support of everything. They even planned all future things. Sharon told him that if I get that au pair job, go to Germany, then after finding my way in Germany, I am going to bring you to Germany. Cause guys, in Sharon's mind, that guy was the future husband. <laughs> that is why they were planning for the future. So everything was going very, very well. And when she finished her B1, applied for an au pair job, luckily found a host family. After finding a host family, she went through a visa process tells us it wasn't easy at all but eventually she got the visa to go to germany work as an au pair so guys the day for sharon to travel from kenya to germany came and it was her first time traveling outside kenya <laughs> If you want to know how was her experience <laughs> that first time traveling, please go to her channel. Again, Sharon and family here or here. <laughs> Check her out. <laughs> Watch that video. It is very, very interesting. <laughs> there is always that first time of trying something or of doing something. So she traveled, then arrived in Germany, went immediately to that family where she was supposed to start working, taking care of their son. They had one son. So guys, Sharon started working and tells us that German family was so, so good to her, but the kid, that son, <laughs> was a bit difficult. And as a mother, I can relate. These kids are not easy at all. If I had a nanny here in my house, I think she could have stayed for only a day. <laughs> On how difficult my baby girl is. <laughs> yes, so that kid was really, really difficult. But that wasn't the only challenge that Sharon faced as an au pair in that house. <laughs> Afro cinema! <laughs> So guys, the first Afro cinema is that that house where Sharon was working as an au pair, they had weird, weird animals as their pets. I'm telling you, these white people can have weird things in the house, weird animals in the house as their pets. So this family were keeping frogs and snakes in the house Ugh. as their pets. Guys, if there is an animal that I'm so scared of, it's a snake. So I imagine how Sharon was so scared finding those animals in the house. You know, you are walking around and then you see a snake 
passing through your legs. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what I could have done in her situation because I can't stand snakes. And if you show me a photo of a snake, I'll be like, Ooh. Becoming a drama queen. <laughs> Even watching them in the TV, I always close my eyes. <laughs> my husband always laughs at me about this. <laughs> so there is a bit of a situation I can relate with all this snake thing. <laughs> so there is this fish called mackerel fish. I think it is found in North Africa and in the Mediterranean Sea. For me coming from Tanzania, I told you guys, village girl, <laughs> I've never seen that fish. For us in Tanzania, we eat tilapia fish and all those kind of fishes that are found in the Indian Ocean. And this mackerel fish, its skin is just like a snake, guys. <laughs> so one day, my husband bought that mackerel fish, brought it home, put it in the freezer. So when it was time for me to cook, I removed it, but he was away from home <laughs> so that I can prepare it, marinate it for cooking. <laughs> so after taking it out of the freezer, I saw that fish. The skin is just like a snake. Oh my God. I got so scared. I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to cook this fish till he returns. What kind of fish is this? <laughs> So when he returned home, I was like, you know what? I waited for you to come because I'm so scared of this fish. He was like, no, it's just a fish. I told him, look at the skin. <laughs> he told me, no, okay, I'm going to help you prepare it. So after cooking it, you don't see that skin anymore. It's not scary. So I ate it and it was so delicious. Actually, it is my husband's favorite fish. <laughs> so one day I went shopping and I was like, okay, the things we do for love. <laughs> I bought that mackerel fish, brought it home, then prepared it. He wasn't home. While preparing it, I was trying my best not to look at that skin. <laughs> It reminded me of the snake. <laughs> I'm funny, right? <laughs> so it wasn't easy at all for Sharon to stay in that house around frogs and snakes. Plus the boy, that was difficult. But what can she do? She's in Germany already and she came to work. So guys, Sharon continued working and tells us she wasn't paid all that much. In Germany, the money that she was receiving as a salary, it is just like pocket money. But she could try her best, send a bit to the family and a bit to <laughs> the boyfriend told me, Bella, the mumu in me, I used to send money to that boyfriend of mine. <laughs> I laughed so hard and I was like, thank God, I'm not the only mumu. Because <laughs> I used to think I am the only mumu <laughs> when it comes to love. <laughs> So Sharon was like, the stupidity in me, <laughs> thinking of it now. <laughs> but guys, I don't think it is being a mumu in love. <laughs> you know, when you love someone so deeply, you love someone truly, you feel like you want to share everything you have with them so that they can be happy, so that they can be comfortable. So that is why Sharon used to help the boyfriend back in Kenya when she was still working as an au pair. So friends, their relationship continued very well. It was doing so great. But after some time, this boyfriend started changing. And you know what, guys? If you have a boyfriend, you know him very well. If this guy starts to change, you will know it immediately that something is wrong. So Sharon started sensing that something is wrong somewhere, but she didn't know what it was. So Sharon kept on asking herself questions that why is this guy changing before asking him, boom! 
soon out of blue sharon was blocked everywhere on social media facebook whatsapp instagram everywhere guys she was so so surprised and didn't know what was going on why this guy blocked her so friends because sharon didn't have any other means of communicating to this boyfriend what she did she had to wait for him hoping that he will come back and explain everything so she waited for one month second month till six months passed the guy wasn't coming at that time sharon was very angry frustrated and disappointed tells us imagine you are going through all those challenges and then at that same same time the man that you thought is there to support you the man that you thought loved you the man that you thought is going to be your future husband disappears just like that it really hurts guys so friends after waiting for six months and the boyfriend did not return what Sharon decided to do declared herself single and searching <laughs> so she tried to put herself out there maybe she will find a guy in real life but it wasn't happening <laughs> tells us German men are so hard to approach a woman tell her I want to go out with you or I want to have a relationship with you nothing they could just give her looks and that's it <laughs> <laughs> so this brings me to you dear beautiful ladies that have been like please connect to me you can see she is in Germany she wants a boyfriend for herself but can't find that is how life can be in the diaspora those us german people are not all that social you know like in africa it is easy to talk to people even if it is not about relationship it is very very easy so when it comes to germany it's very difficult and that is why sharon couldn't find anyone in real life but it is not only in germany guys even here in italy if i dress up very nice you know looking so good and go let's say to the restaurant or to the bar and sit waiting for a man to approach me do you know what these men are gonna think of me that I am a prostitute because this is the bitter truth that is how they see black women yes actually something happened to me very very recently I went to pick my daughter from where the school bus drops her and then as i was there waiting for my daughter there was an old lady in the car next to me it is next to the road but there are some apartments there even there was a chinese restaurant but it is closed right now so as i was there waiting guys to cut the story short this old italian lady who was seated in the car but her car doors were open told me that place where you are standing is a private property <laughs> you can't stand there i was like where because i've been always there to pick my daughter <laughs> so i told this old lady where she told me there where you're standing I was like okay i am waiting for my daughter and she said okay okay so when my daughter arrived i picked my daughter and as i was passing this lady started smiling at me <laughs> so when i told my husband he was like what was she smiling at <laughs> why didn't you answer her that i live here so it is my right to stand here <laughs> but that lady guys mistook me as a prostitute she saw me looking at the road i wanted to see if the school bus has arrived thought i was waiting for a client so that is the situation so you ladies who have been like connect me i want to tell you that not all white men likes black women not all white men wants to marry black women so it is very very difficult i told you it is by luck to find a white man that will approach you and tell you oh you're a very cute couple i would like to have a black girlfriend and then you say okay i have a friend i can connect to you it is by luck i am repeating guys not easy at all but you have a very big potential to find a white man that is interested in black women on online dating apps 
If these white men are on Afro introduction, that means they are so interested in interracial dating and that's the right place to get a white man but if you decide to sit there and be like i have a sister who is in europe i have a sister i don't know she's in america she will connect me to a white man i'm telling you you're gonna wait and wait and wait because it is only by luck black women who are in europe and they want to find love yes they are on online dating apps searching they try in real life but they also go online because they have a very big chance to find someone. So after Sharon not finding love in real life, decided to join online dating apps. So the first dating app that Sharon tried was Tinder. <laughs> she tried Tinder but tells us her experience wasn't good at all because so most men on tinder were there to play games they were after one night stand you know not serious at all so decided to stop using tinder and tried another dating app called la blue i'm going to be writing the names of the dating apps down so that you know how to search for them on google or on play store so she tried la blue same things no one was serious and tried tagged when she tried tagged she faced lots of challenges most men wanted her to travel from her city go meet them in another city in their houses so as a lady who understands yourself you can't just go meet a stranger in his house it is a very very big risk because we all know that oh i have been telling you that on online dating apps you will come across even serial killers yes so that is why you need to be very very careful no matter how a guy tells you beautiful beautiful words never go meet him in his house for the first appointment without knowing him even sharon advises you this another challenge that she faced she could chat with men and then they agreed to meet <laughs> when it comes the day of meeting sharon went to the place where they agreed to meet but the guy could not appear oh my god it is so so disappointing so you ladies who are on online dating apps you're facing challenges and you're like i'm so tired i don't want to hear anything about dating apps anymore actually i'm going to delete all of them right now <laughs> guys even ladies who have found love on online dating apps they have faced lots of challenges we see sharon people could stood her up <laughs> it is a very very bad experience guys i am laughing right now but leaving that situation it's not easy guys so the last challenge that sharon faced on online dating apps while she was using tagged she could chat with a guy everything goes very well even agree to go on the first date go on a first date with her talk and after that a guy disappears she couldn't hear any more about the guy you see guys you have been chatting with men you chat even for two months three months and then a guy disappears so sharon could meet them in real life but at the same time disappear bella but i don't know if it was on my side maybe i didn't know how to keep on the conversation going i don't know but this was a greatest greatest challenge when i was on online dating apps challenges are part of the journey and when you are on online dating apps searching you can't avoid challenges yes so after tagged decided to try another dating app but before i continue all these dating apps that sharon tried never paid even a coin she was using those dating apps for free i told you guys if you want to find the one on online dating apps you don't have to spend lots of money you can use the free version to chat with men i went ahead and showed you how to see if a man has paid on different dating apps but still i get women who ask me bella how can i pay for a dating app 
you paying for a dating app doesn't mean you are going to find the one and let's be honest if you're paying for the dating app then you should have a very strong reason to do that i told you if there is a dating app you have done your research it has got good good reviews but unfortunately both of you should pay on that dating app then go ahead and pay there is no problem but if a dating app allows you to use the free version if a dating app allows you to chat for free without paying if a guy has paid there is no need for you to pay because you pay your money and go chat with losers men who have not paid or you pay your money and go chat with a man who have paid where is the logic <laughs> <laughs> I hope you understand me guys so Sharon wasn't paying a coin on online dating apps and she found the one guys she joined that new dating app and in less than a month got a message from this German guy this message was really good he was explaining himself about his life he was like I am very serious looking for a woman to settle down with I am not in for games also told her where he works because Sharon was in Germany knew that company that the guy was talking about so after reading his message she was like hmm this is a bit convincing <laughs> decided to respond to him when she responded they started chatting and they continued chatting every day chatting chatting so everything was going very well they kept on chatting and it reached a point whereby Sharon was like no what if this guy is fake I have to see whom I am chatting with so ask the guy can we please do a video call <laughs> and this is very very important video call is a must don't accept any excuse from a guy that he doesn't want to do a video call with you that means that guy has got something to hide from you so make sure you always video call so sharon video called and saw him as he was talking she was like oh my god this guy is so polite <laughs> and also seems very kind and honest so the video call went very very well they were so happy to see each other and after that they planned for their first meeting on their first meeting guys this guy showed responsibility that he is a responsible guy and another thing i want to say about this story we really learn something about dating a german guy i'm saying he showed responsibility because on their first meeting he is the one that paid for the ticket for Sharon to go meet him and their first meeting was at the restaurant not at his house <laughs> Sharon tells you that not only black men that will steal your goodies no even white men can pretend take your goodies then after that they block you <laughs> So be very, very careful. Don't give your goodies anyhow. That is an advice from our beautiful Sharon. <laughs> so she went for that first date at the restaurant. It was a lunch date. They were so happy to meet in person. They ate, talked, and after that, they did not go to his house still. <laughs> Sharon returned to where she was living in another city and the guy returned to his home so after the first date luckily yes <laughs> they fixed another date so this guy did not disappear they kept on seeing each other it was dates after dates after dates and after some time guys the part that most of you like the goodies <laughs> so we know that sharon did not give her goodies on the first date not the second date not even the third date no they really saw each other for so long before she gave her goodies tells us she's not someone who shares her goodies anyhow so that day they fixed a dinner date Sharon prepared herself you know looking beautiful <laughs> went for dinner they ate and after dinner 
they went to his house <laughs> yeah for sleepover and that's when the goodies were shared and it went well <laughs> i'm also going to share their first selfie so after the goodies the next day sharon had to return to the city where she was living and tells us at that time she had finished her au pair contract which was one year so she decided to go for volunteering she was doing that volunteering job but was getting paid even a bit higher than the salary she was getting from an au pair job so when she returned home started thinking oh my god i gave my goodies so is this guy going to disappear she was really scared thinking a lot and i was like okay let's see what happens but dear beautiful ladies this guy was so good his name is tom so Tom was really good, very genuine, you know, a real man, <laughs> never disappeared. That is why I have been telling you, don't rush to give your goodies. First study the guy you are dating, and if you chat with a guy, he starts with sex, just know that that guy isn't serious at all, because a serious relationship does not start with a sex talk so tom did not disappear everything continued but sharon never shared this information to anyone not the friends not her family back home tells us she is an introvert so she's not someone that always like shares her feelings or her relationships with other people she prefers to keep things for herself and that's her peace and I think it is very very good I advise you guys never rush to share about your relationship with people when it's too early because we don't know what will happen you have to wait until you are sure sure that this is it then you can share the whole information about your relationship so guys they continued their relationship and sharon tells us tom could spoil her very very mad <laughs> yeah could take her places they also visited france i will share her photo here when she was in france for that first time everything was good 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 and could thank god every day to bring tom in her life so guys as they continued being girlfriend and boyfriend they kept on enjoying the goodies too <laughs> and after some time sharon started feeling strange you know <laughs> toes us could feel the smell of everything also could feel nausea and was like oh my god i hope i am not pregnant but did not take a test to test if she is pregnant the reason is you know when you don't want to hear the truth we pretend to ignore things you know you know this is the truth but you decide let me ignore it so she never took a test to see if she is pregnant but as days kept on going she kept on feeling strange and even missed her periods and that is when our second afro cinema <laughs> starts so she decided to call tom and told tom you know what i am feeling very strange i feel nausea i can feel the smell of everything i suspect i might be pregnant Tom told her, oh, if you are pregnant, that's good news because a baby is a blessing and I'm going to be responsible <laughs> for that baby. So when you come next time, let's go and buy a test to see if it is true you are pregnant. So time to meet came and they met. After meeting, decided to go together to the pharmacy and buy a pregnancy test. Went home and then tasted if she is pregnant tells us to her big surprise <laughs> there were two clear lines <laughs> that she is pregnant and that is when her whole life changed tom was very very happy to confirm that sharon was pregnant so that day ended and sharon returned home 
after returning home, a lot of thoughts started going through her mind. She told herself, Sharon, what have you done to yourself? What have you done to your life? What are your parents going to say? You came here to better your life and now you are pregnant. So how are you going to achieve your goals? How? So all those thoughts were running through her mind and she was like, I'm a disgrace. I'm very ashamed of myself. I have let down my parents and my siblings. So she kept on having weird thoughts. And on the other side, she had the devil telling her, mm, you can't keep that baby. <laughs> and on the other side, she was like, no, I am going to keep my baby. So she was in a total confusion and in the end decided to call her mother. You know, our mothers are always our best friends. So she called the mother, told her everything that I am pregnant. The mother was so happy and was like, that is good. Stop being depressed because the mother sensed it. Stop being depressed, stop being frustrated, leave all those weird thoughts aside. I support you, keep your pregnancy, and I can't wait to meet my grandchild. <laughs> yeah, so she also went ahead and then told her everything that it is a white guy, you know, a German guy. The mother was so happy and said, if you guys are happy, we are happy too. So from there, her mind was clear to keep taking taking care of her pregnancy. But the pregnancy journey wasn't easy at all. It tells us the first trimester was so, so hard. She was sick the whole time. An extent decided to stop working. Remember, she was working as a volunteer. So they decided that she moves in with Tom. So after moving in, they started living together as a boyfriend which is expecting a baby from the girlfriend <laughs> so everything continued well though sharon was sick you know the pregnancy symptoms <laughs> i remember for me i spitted till the day i went for labor <laughs> ah! guys it's not easy <laughs> that's how it is we can't change it so they lived together and then came a time for introduction because i know you guys want to know when did this guy introduce sharon <laughs> to their parents so it was the time when sharon was pregnant so they prepared for that day and they went to tom's mother for the introduction unfortunately guys the mother is late they lost her very recently and may her soul keep resting in peace so they went to tom's mother and after they arrived the mother was very very happy to see sharon and tom told her about expecting a baby so she was very very happy that she's going to see her grandchild <laughs> so it was good news gave sharon lots of gifts even tom's sister was around they really welcomed sharon very very well that sharon told god thank you so much god to bring me to such a beautiful family so guys because sharon wasn't working at that time remember she has the responsibilities back at home and her siblings so that they can finish school so what tom did decided to take sharon's responsibilities he could send money to sharon's family as the way sharon used to do this is a good man this is a husband material guys a responsible man not those men who are very selfish when you talk anything about helping your family they're like no it is me and you <laughs> this is our family no tom is not such kind of a man totally different he is such a good man guys so guys apart from tom sending money to sharon's family he could also give sharon monthly allowance so that she doesn't miss anything if she wants to buy something she has the money for herself oh my god this is really good i did a video about german men and one of the things that we learned about dating a german man is that majority are stingy but 
storm has proved us wrong <laughs> that is why guys i've been telling you study a man you are dating you can see everything continued to go very very well then the pregnancy came to an end sharon got a very beautiful baby girl her name is zoe i know some of you you know her kiss kiss to baby girl Zoe yeah she's such a lovely baby so after having her baby I know right now you're asking yourself no marriage <laughs> after two years guys that is when they decided to get married it wasn't easy because lots of documents were needed from Kenya and it was very very expensive but Tom paid for everything without complaining if you're dating a guy and he's spending money then complains there is a problem somewhere <laughs> so eventually yeah. they got all the documents but unfortunately it was during the pandemic so they got married at the court it was the court wedding no one was supposed to be there only them everything went well they wedded now they are husband and wife yes they met on online dating apps can you believe it <laughs> so after getting married we all know that tom has never been to kenya <laughs> so he was supposed to go meet sharon's family for that first time and after the pandemic that is when they planned their first trip tom's first trip zoe's first trip to go to kenya it was very very lovely when you go to sharon and family channel you are going to find lots of videos they shared when they went to kenya how it was for that first time but it was very very beautiful i'm going to share one of their photo here for that first time in kenya friends if you want to know what is sharon's next plans in life she had to go to school again study the language and then do the career job so right now she's about to start the school for the career job and she tells us that school they pay her as she studies and when she finishes school will find a job and achieve everything that she ever wanted to achieve before she got pregnant because she came to germany to better her life she is a very smart lady and meanwhile tom and sharon are helping sharon's mother to build a house in her channel you will find everything so that's an update of the next step in sharon's life so friends that was sharon and tom love story that is how they met guys if you want to know which kind of dating app did they meet they met on afro introduction i think i shared this in one of my videos <laughs> yeah afro introduction is the real deal i know some of you are like no it is not working full of scammers guys you should know how to use afro introduction and i'm very very sure no matter how long it takes you're gonna find the one because you've got lots of success stories about afro introduction and if you ask me of the best dating app so far with lots of good reviews i will tell you afro introduction so quickly to the tips and tricks from sharon sharon advises you ladies that on online dating apps to always be patient don't be in a hurry to know a guy don't be in a hurry to find a guy take your time so that you can find a man that you'll spend the rest of your life with second advice from sharon she advises you if you are a kenyan lady but for me i am adding if you are from any country you want to better your life you're on online dating apps searching but things are not working out try other ways sharon gives you an idea of trying au pair jobs there is no harm in trying who knows it might be your luck and you find a job as an au pair once you are here you're gonna find the way out if it is love you will find it but always try to look for other ways out last advice from sharon she tells you that put everything in the hands of god don't forget god whatever you do 
put God in it because God is able, God is faithful. He will help you to achieve whatever you want to achieve. Dear beautiful friends, I really hope you enjoyed this love story. You learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this love story and learn something. Please comment below what you think about this video or this love story. Watch my other videos too. They are super good. You're going to learn lots, lots of things without forgetting to subscribe. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.